Hello, and welcome to the Chief Architect Quick Tip. Today we will be covering how to use the Cabinet Specialty Storage Bonus Catalog in Chief Architect Premier. You can find the bonus catalog at 3dlibrary.chiefarchitect.com. And if you have SSA or Support and Software Assurance, you can download this featured catalog. Just going to click on it here. You can see a description and a nice render. And today we're going to start with a blank plan, and I'm going to show you how to put all of these different specialty storage items into your cabinets. So let's get started. All right, so I have a blank plan essentially. I've gone ahead and to save a little time, I used the straight exterior wall tool and drew in four walls, and then I used the full camera here. Just click and drag it out. So I'm going to double click on it to open up my camera view. And I also have this render up so that we can use it as a reference as we're building this cabinetry and putting in these specialty items. Okay, let's start with the cabinet tool and go to full height. And let's left click to place that in our plan. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open up the specification. And let's change the width to 36. And I'm going to grab this top face item and change it to a door panel. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Let's go with 9 inches tall. This guy we want to be a door, but if it's an auto door, after a certain width of cabinet, it becomes 2. So let's go with a left door, forcing it to be 1. And let's change that to 12 inches tall. And on the next face item, I'm going to do a door panel again. And let's go with 51. Should give me what I want. And this bottom one will also do a door panel. Okay, now I'm going to add the crown molding. So let's go to the moldings tab, add new, the core catalogs, architectural molding, and I want a crown molding of CM-05, click OK. We can see that's inside the cabinet, and if I put a positive number in here, it pushes it further in. So I'm going to use this height value, negative 3 and 3 quarter inches, and that's what we want right on top of the cabinet. Okay, let's hit OK. Looks pretty good. So let's go into our cabinet specialty storage bonus catalog, and let's go to the storage cubes, six columns. So normally this is what we would do. We would select it from the library and click to place it. But as you can see, it places it on all of the doors. That's not what we want, so I'm going to hit Control Z, and let's double click on it again to go inside. Okay, if I click on this face item, under Appliance Door Drawer, there's a Library button. I'm going to click on that, go into my Bonus Catalogs, back down to Storage Cubes, Six Columns, get my 6x2 and click OK. Let's go to the next face item, to the Library. Actually, nope, that's a door, so I'm just going to go to the Door Drawer tab and change the style to Framed Doors and check this glass doors box. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over so that the hardware is in the right place to match up over here. Okay, let's select this next face item, click the library button, and add that cushion. Okay, select the next face item, library, and under Diagonal and Cross Storage, I want the X Storage side by side, and click OK. I'm going to hit OK on this dialog and check it out. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab another full height cabinet and click to place it. And you can see that it snugs up right against there instead of going through it. I'm going to click to place it and double click to open it up and let's change its specifications. This one is going to have a width of 48 inches, quite a bit wider. And as you can see, it's not as deep as these other cabinets. So let's change the depth to 18. Let's go ahead and add that crown molding. And this time, I remember it's called CM-05. So I can just do a quick search and speed up that process. And don't forget to push it up above the cabinet. OK. Let's grab this face item and change it to a door panel. 
with a height of 14. Grab this face item and change the height to 12. Grab the next face item and change it to a door panel as well. And to get this space below here, I'm going to change the toe kick. So let's go to the general tab real quick. And let's change the height of this toe kick to 28 and a half inches and the depth to 18 inches, opening this space up. All right, if I click on these face items, it brings me back to the front tab. And now I will explain why I've made these door panels. Uh, back on this cabinet, this guy was a door, but all of these were door panels. And that's because all of these symbols have been imported as the type cabinet door. That way, they already are going to use the default cabinet door material that you have set up in your plan. Um, as you might know, fixtures can also be placed into cabinets like a range or an oven, but those would not match the material, so that's why we did that. And that's why these guys have been turned into door panels. So let's click this library button and go to our bonus catalog under shelves and pick this deep shelf and click OK. I'm going to hit OK here. And let's use our material eyedropper, which I'm sure you can see if you're working in the software. But my window is smaller, so I'm going to click this and grab my material eyedropper. And just to approximate the same material here, I'll just grab this floor material and put it right there so it matches all nice and pretty. And I'm going to grab this and hit Control C to copy. Go over here, hit Control V to paste, and left click. And then I'm just going to bump that up against this cabinet. And it looks like we're doing pretty good here. But we still need to change these face types. So I'm going to double click on here again. Select this face item. Go to the library button into my bonus catalogs. And under letters and file storage, I'll select spacer file storage wide. Click OK. Go to the next guy. Back to the library. And this time I want letter storage tall. Click OK. Click OK again and see what we have. There we go. So it's looking a little sparse. And I have these accessories I brought in. So I'm going to go to my plan view. Remember, you can hit Control Tab to switch between them. And let's place this desk chair here. Rotate it around. And I like how instead of being straight on, it's at an angle. Let's push it under the desk a little bit. And let's place this laptop. I'm going to zoom in here. Rotate this guy a little bit. Bring him over. Maybe not quite that much. And let's place this lamp. You can see there that it first selected the cabinet. So I hit the tab key to select the next nearby item, which was my lamp. And since these guys, I can't see the desk, so I don't think they're actually being placed neatly on the desk here. I think they're being placed up here. So I'm going to use a different type of camera real quick. And let's use a wall elevation. Drag that here. I was right. So I will pull these guys down. And I'll hit Control Tab to switch back my plan view, and let's go back to the camera view. All right, that's looking much better. And there we go. Before I let you go, I just wanted to show you guys some pretty awesome resources. I'm going to bring up Chief Architect's website right now, chiefarchitect.com, and I wanted to show you guys under support here, let's go to the knowledge base, and you can see all kinds of awesome articles that can help you explore how to build things in Chief. I'm just going to go to cabinets. Uh, let's see. Building a wine rack or plate shelf, that sounds cool. And you can see this helpful article with steps on how to do these things. And it's pretty helpful. So if we go back to the top of the website and go to the user center, and under training videos, here you can find lots of videos on how to do all kinds of things. I'm just going to search for cabinets. And here's one on placing cabinet feet. So you can give your cabinets that custom look you're going for. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip, and remember that you can find additional resources through chiefarchitect.com, where you can download a free trial of Chief Architect, check out the training videos, the sample gallery, how-to articles. Uh, we have a Chief Talk users forum, a YouTube channel with more videos to check out like this one, and many other kinds of videos. And I wanted to thank you guys for watching this quick tip today, and I hope you all have a great day.